in this video, sponsored by Autodoc, uh, the style that gets the service and new rear wheel bearings. Right, so here is our package from Germany. Um, package from Autodoc for the Starlet. Um, let's see what we've got in here. We have um, three bottles of oil. Um, seemingly you can't order in anything other than one litre bottles, which is it seems a little wasteful, but there we go. Um, we've got a air filter, is that? Oh, yes, there we go. Genuine Luft filter. Hello to all my German fans. I hope you don't mind my terrible uh, attempts at German. Um, we've got the oil filter. Seems very small, but um, I know what these Japanese cars are like. Uh, I measured the um, oil filter and all the dimensions were on the website, so it was very easy to check. So it looks tiny, but um, that should be the, the one for the job. We shall see. Um, it's about the same size as the one on the nipper. Uh, what have we got here? Well, that also says oil filter, but I think that one's probably fuel filter. Oh. Yes, so that's the fuel filter, there it goes, there's fuel filter on it, so I think we can safely say that's a fuel filter. And then we've got four spark plugs, and I assume these are the wheel bearings. Oh, he says falling over. A Shika wheel bearing. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a wheel bearing. So I'm not sure yet what sort of job they're going to be to change, but we've got two of those as well. And um, I will say, I placed this order on the 10th of April, and it's now, if you'll focus, 19th of April. So it's not really what you'd call the quickest turnaround. But nonetheless, the parts are here, they all look to be correct, and um, hopefully that means I can crack on and get the Toyota back up and running again, because that hasn't left the driveway since we got back from our extremely noisy trip to Sussex and Oxfordshire, and I would quite like to drive it again. The only slight issue is that um, I've got a classic Jaguar deadline looming, so um, I've been off to do things like this. So here I am, driving along in an Alfa Romeo, being chased by a tank. And now um, I need to go back to my laptop and write it all up. And um, yeah, 132 page issue, so that's going to keep me busy. So I'm not sure when I'm actually going to get a chance to fit all this stuff. But um, yeah, hopefully, ho hopefully fairly soon. Right, we've got the starlet up in the air and I've got the rear wheel off. Um, starting here because um, uh, if I'm going to service it, I want to get the engine warm. And uh, that means going for a drive. And I'll drive and get this bearing sorted out. And it, I think it is this one because if I rotate the wheel, can you see it's, it, it's not exactly smooth in its circularity. I can feel it going dun 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 all the way around. So I'll knock this grease cap off and we'll see what's behind there. How old can it be? Well, that might be the end of that for a while. Got both drums out, but the bearings need pushing into the drums. Well, first of all, they need pushing out. I don't think I've got anything suitable for that. So, um, basically, bother. Oh, look, I've got oil all over the inside of that one. That's not ideal. Well, it can be only one choice of parts hauler today, really, can't that? Yes, it's Little Tuck is taking the Toyota brakes to the garage so they can push new bearings in. So, the lads at the garage pushed in new bearings, uh, I bought those home, and um, then I could reinstall the drums, all of which I thought I'd recorded on camera, but it was a different camera, not this phone, and it doesn't seem to record it at all, which is annoying. Um, but um, let's jump ahead with the bearings refitted and some servicing about to take place. Don't ask about the hat, I won it in a raffle. 
Right then, um, job one is probably to get the oil draining because then you can do all the other jobs while you're waiting for it to drain. So let's go and have a peer underneath. Try and find out where the sump plug is. I may need a torch. Ah, or I just turn the light on as a solution. Is that the sump there? Yes, I believe that is the sump. That looks like a little plug on the bottom of it. Air filter is done. You undo four clips, you lift that off, and you take the old air filter out. And um, that doesn't look too grubby in the scheme of things, but you can see there's some leaf litter. So um, that's that done. Um, we've got the fuel filter sitting there ready to go. Uh, that's the wiper motor. Um, once um, I, I might do that outside, to be honest, because that's going to stink petrol everywhere. Um, can't get the oil filter off until the oil's finished draining from the engine, so I can make a start on spark plugs. Ooh, they're feeling a bit tight. I don't like start tight start plug spark plugs even. They make me nervous. So I might just put that on while I'm faffing about here, just stop anything dropping into the engine. Oh, the suspense is killing me. What's it doing to you? Well, that looks like kind of what you'd expect. Focus! I think. That looks like a general bit of wear and tear. So we'll just um, check the electrode length against the new, new plugs, which are um, fancy twin filament jobbies. That looks about right to me. Jobs are good and always double check because you don't want too long a spark plug. It'll um, smack into the pistons and most people consider that a bad thing. So that's my new Nipparts oil filter ready to go in. Oh, it shouldn't take too long at all. I've right, just got the oil filter off and um, it's a bit rusty considering I didn't think this had been replaced all that long ago. I thought I'd only done a year on the car. Looks like it's been left in the sea. Came undone by hand though, which um, always pleases me. That's always nice. So I need to lubricate the seal uh, on the new filter and get that fitted, which I shall do now. Notice I've got um, a big rag down there to catch any spillage while I was removing that filter. I don't think there has actually been any, which is nice. Ah, oh, great. Naturally, because of me, I've managed to spill oil all over the floor. Um, obviously, it dribbled off the catch can at some point. Uh, so far, so me. Um, I don't think I've ever managed to do an oil change without getting oil everywhere. Today is no different. Right, fresh oil can go in. So here we go, we've got some Comma X-Flow semi-synthetic motor oil. Um, I could probably use fully synthetic on this car, to be honest, but I think semi will do, because I don't anticipate it doing great mileage or being used for racing anytime soon. So semi-synthetic will do nicely. Hey, do you want a David Freiberger Engine Masters special? Let's see if I can pour this straight in. Oh, no, fail. Some dribblage. Actually, I'm going to attend to that, because I'm going to dribble down the back of the engine and be mightily annoying. Try not to spill the new oil. Oh dear. Things I do. Polish my foot. Four EFE. Let's have another go. Ooh, he's got it this time. This is so much easier in every way from both the Honda and the Lexus. Being such a simple engine, I mean, look at it. I haven't had to take any covers off. Um, there's no struggles with access. I mean, sure, the oil filter is down by the exhaust manifold, and I like to get the engine nice and warm before I drain it, so that was interesting, but I managed to do it without burning myself too badly. I will say... In an ideal world, I think I'll probably change the power steering fluid. That's looking a bit mucky, I'd say. But um, I need to tidy this part of the garage up, unsurprisingly. Uh, that's almost there. 
Right, I think we need most, but not quite all, of the third bottle. I shall spare you watching me dribble that all over the place. Well, you won't be able to see that at all, really, because it's never going to focus on it. Never, never, never. But um, we're just below maximum. I've just given the engine its first run um, on the um, new oil. And, um, yeah, it's dropped just a little bit because, obviously, it'll be filling the filter back up. So let's give it a top up. And um, then we can go outside and do the fuel filter. OK, this is proving more difficult than I thought. Because... Um you can see you need to get a big spanner on this big nut here which is actually part of the bottom of the fuel filter and then turn that the opposite way and it's proven a pain so that, that's what we've got you can see the the big nut on the end of the can and um, i'm struggling to get a spanner on that and undo the union uh, again this filter seems to have been here an awfully long time and my spanner is starting to round that's not good Oh, not too much of a faff in the end because um, Mr. Genius here, like I am, I realise I can get the big spanner on this end of the filter, which leaves plenty of room to then get at the bottom union. So that one's on. Now I've got to do the top one and um, we can fire it up, check for leaks. Um, just need to refit the collar, which is what I was about to do. So I shall do that. There we go, our basic service is complete. Oil and filters. Got a new fuel filter. Um, checking there's no leakage there, that looks dry. New oil filter. And again, just checking there's no leakage in there where you can't see. Um, but I can't see anything. So we'll peek underneath. Let's make sure there's no fresh drippage from the sump. There's plenty of um, rust proofing otherwise. So there we are. Uh, we might also have a look at the front brakes, which we might be able to do with this style of wheel anyway. And um, yeah, uh, no, we can't really get a close view of what the pad wears like. We can see the backing plate there, or rather. So the backing plate there and its relationship to the disc so I'd say there's a good 3 mil of pad depth there so maybe new pads wouldn't be a bad idea especially as I suspect this brake has been seizing you can see quite a lot of wear on the disc that, that can be a sign of a sticky brake um, so brake still to look at but otherwise I hope we can declare the Starlet successfully basic serviced This engine is so quiet, you can actually hear each individual pulse from the um, fuel injectors. Lovely. Oh, this is a car transformed, I think. I can't say the service has made a fat lot of difference to the engine, but oh, it's a heck of a lot quieter than the rear wheel bearings had been done. Clearly, they were going anyway, and um, yeah, tightening them up for the MOT just finished them off. This is the world's worst camera mount. Now I know why it was sitting in the garage not being used. So now we're on a surface dress road. Remember, these used to be absolutely horrific. But um, it has to be said, it's now much, much quieter. The noise is considerably dulled down. So maybe there is life in the old Starlet yet. And all the misgivings I had about um, driving position when we were on our long trip, they don't really apply when you're driving around Wales. It just feels eager and fun. I'm quite pleased. The Starlet is good again. Hurrah! And there we go. We have one happily serviced Starlet. It's um, really not too difficult at all. Uh, much, much quieter with its new rear wheel bearings. So thank you to Autodoc for um, supplying the parts and sponsoring this um, Toyota servicing video. 
uh, visit autodoc.co.uk and uh, it's a very good website. I'm very impressed with the website, very easy to find the right parts for your car. Um, there are different types of filters for this car but the website made it easy to measure up and make sure I got the right ones and everything seems to fit a treat. So yeah, thank you Autodoc. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you go and I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.